67 watts, 100 watts, which one should you pick? These are the Anchor latest GAN Prime fast chargers with foldable plugs, which features three USB ports each, two USB Type-C and one USB Type-A, marked for laptop and tablet and phones. In this video, I'm gonna do plenty of charging tests using my power meter with the MacBook Pro 16 inch, which takes in 140 watts of maximum input with the 100 watts input latest battery bank from Anchor and my iPad Pro. First of all, I wanna point out, although they are labeled as Ma uh, the laptop and tablet for these two USB ports, USB Type-C ports, it doesn't matter which one you plug in. These are going to be equivalent at 67 watts maximum uh, when only one USB-C port is used or 100 watts using this version. However, I do personally prefer the 100 watts version um, because of its versatility and uh, more output considering the compact size. These are the, you know, the most compact fast chargers I've ever seen in this class. As you can see, I'm already getting 70 watts out of it. There is some conversion loss due to AC to DC conversion loss. I do like that their user manual clearly states the 77.28% uh, of conversion um, efficiency using the 67 watts when uh, there is a higher output and a lowered efficiency when it's charging at only 10% of load. However, the 100 watts version has a much higher efficiency at 79% uh, and lowered efficiency at you know, I'm not going to read all the all these spec. You can pause the video and read the difference. Uh, more importantly, these outputs are going to combination are going to be a bit more interesting when you use the USB Type C and uh, two ports or three ports. They're going to be a bit different, uh, limited at 65 watts, so slightly lowered uh, output. But you can totally use these uh, po higher power consumption ports to charge Apple Watch or uh, these smaller devices like earpods. Now, if I'm connecting two devices, I think it's gonna be limited to 65 watts using a 100 watts po power bank. Look how compact these are, 100 watts, the, sm the most compact 100 watts charger I've ever seen. So it is slightly higher, which is consistent with the um, efficiency reading from the spec sheet. I still have additional uh, one USB type A port to use, but um, you know, that's really designed for iPhones or earbuds. Now let's try the 100 watts version. Plug in the 100 watts. First off, let's max out its power output with the MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'm expecting a little bit over 100 watts. And by the way, my MacBook 16 inch is at 27% right now, 25% when I started recording this video. Now I'm getting 90, around 95 watts. Okay not really up to the uh, spec, but very close. So it's a good replacement for Apple original charger because how compact it is and it provides additional ports. Let me connect this uh, power bank from Anchor as well. And for charging iPads, it's going to be around 30 watts for a single device. Now with two devices connected, I'm getting 101 watts. So that is good. Uh, now I think it is out outputting its maximum allowed. So 
So I was just looking for my um, USB type A If I connect this one, let's see if let's see if I connect a iPhone, what happens? That's my iPhone 13. It's powering on and the uh, all the ports will reconnect actually will reset and redistribute the power. Now I have three devices connected to the 100 watts charger and I uh, see the same behavior on the 65 watts as well. It will have lowered power consumption. Um, and usually when even, let's see here, I wanna point this out. If you connect an iPhone with the um, MacBook, it will, this port will get reduced output, of course, because, well, it's gonna output uh, around 18 watts maximum from the USB type A port, and they are, they are gonna share the total 100 watts. And this one, see here, when USB type C and USB A is used, they are all, always gonna be 100 watts maximum. I'm just curious to see the 100 uh, watts port, USB-C port, and see how many wattage is getting out. Maybe it's around 60 watts. From this power meter, we can see it is 57 watts right now. Yeah, that port will become a 65 watts charger, I guess, when additional USB type A port is connected. So if you really want to max out, the ma uh, to get the max out of it, you should disconnect the USB type A port when you want to charge the laptop at the maximum um, speed. And let's see the 65 watts. And if I connect a USB type A, then the USB type C, charging my MacBook and see what happens. So I'm using the phone and the laptop at the same time, getting 50 watts output. And now from the power meter, uh, it has reduced output at 45 watts. So yes, that confirms our um, usual behavior. With any multi-port charger, it's not going to get you the, uh, you know, not even close to its originally designed 65 watts uh, or 67 watts is going to be limited at 45 watts and the other cable is going to be around 5 to 10 watts depending on the state of the charge of the phone and I have a reset iPhone 13 at a roughly 70 percent okay so that's uh, something to keep in mind for these uh, you know rated mass um, fast chargers the maximum output will decrease if you use the usb type a port or the usb type c port of course if i connect my macbook pro uh, i'm sorry the ipad pro well this is going to be tough because i have a yeah it's going to be tough to see the power output but i'm going to try this that thing is going to take in 30 watts. Now the MacBook Pro and the iPad Pro at 50 watts. 70% right now. So that's some good information you should be aware of when using multi port chargers. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.